Всем привет! Меня зовут Анна, и я преподаватель русского языка. Today we are going to study Russian grammar by the song. I do think that studying grammar is really boring if you do it by the textbooks, by the rules. Uh, that's why I prefer to look at the language material and only after trying to figure out what grammar rules were used to create it. In this lesson you will see the examples of all Russian cases of past form and of creating plural forms. These are the main grammar rules you need to speak Russian. Давайте чуть-чуть послушаем песню. Сегодня мы будем работать с ней. Твоя любовь это так красиво, твоя любовь этих тактов сила, твоя любовь лишь мое светило, твоя любовь это так красиво. Before we start looking at the grammar, let's make sure you know the words that are going to be in the song. And we are going to start with the nouns. You can repeat after me now. Любовь, звуки, шум океана, раны, руки, сердце, детство, сила, свет. Uh, but in the song they are going to use old Russian version светила. It's the same that Svet, anyway. I'm going to make a few sentences with these words for you to memorize it. And if you use the same technique, if you make sentences with new words, please try to make them personal. This way new words will never be forgotten. So I'm going to make uh, some personal sentences about me. And if it's true for you, you can repeat them or you can change them slightly. У меня холодные руки. Uh, this is actually true. A lot of Russians have cold hands, even if it's warm uh, in the room. I don't know why, but у меня холодные руки. У меня было прекрасное детство. Я люблю слушать шум океана. Сила, свет и любовь – это очень важные вещи. Let's move on, and now we'll look at the verbs that are going to be in the song. It will be a little bit more challenging, but don't get frustrated. Похоже на давать, подавать, издавать, дарить, лечить, залечивать, прижимать, отпускать, возвращать. Хватать, доводить. Uh, so let's look at the difference. Давать – it's just simple give. Подавать uh, – when a gentleman gives a hand to the lady, this is подавать руку. Издавать uh, – this word only used in the context of make sounds. Издавать звуки. Издавать крик. Лечить, залечивать. What's the difference? Лечить – it's something that do all the doctors, they treat us. Лечить. Залечивать – it's like completed action, so it's like uh, heal to the end. Heal until you get completely healthy. So, залечивать. Again, uh, these words – подавать, издавать, залечивать – you only need them for this context and for the song grill. You need to know давать, лечить, because these are the basics. All other variations, it's so many variations in Russian, you probably need the whole life to learn them, but you must know the basics. Uh, let me make the sentences. Я похожа на мою сестру. This is actually true, I think we really look alike. Доктора лечат пациентов. На день рождения люди дарят Подарки. Uh, на Новый год люди тоже дарят подарки. This is actually a photo from New Year, Новый год. And I have a lot of подарки. And now let's look at the last group of words that we need to understand the song. Это, этих, чтобы, тихо, так, лишь, только. So, это, этих. It's basically the same word. But uh, этих, it's just a change of это. And that's basically grammar. Grammar is how we change the words. But the translation is the same. Чтобы means 
to to do something in order to do something uh tiha tak tak russians say a lot of tak 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 it's like well 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 uh but also it can mean so like so beautiful so great tak красиво tak классно tak здорово и лишь uh this is not very uh speaking words uh it's more artistic i mean like for the literature so but more speaking version of it is tolka so you must know the word tolka лишь it's uh already a bit harder level russian but okay лишь this is the word we'll hear in the song the sentences это мой блокнот я записываю это видео, чтобы помочь вам выучить русский язык. Так здорово, что сегодня светит солнце. У меня есть только одна ручка. У меня есть лишь одна ручка. Now let's listen to the first part of the song, and after we'll look at the text attentively, and I'll explain why the words slightly changing and which grammar rule works better. So basically, we'll look at all Russian grammar, all main Russian grammar, just on the short piece of the song. Твоя любовь издавала звуки, похожие на шум океана. Твоя любовь подавала руки, чтобы залечивать ими раны. Твоя любовь прижимала к сердцу, так тихо-тихо и не отпускала. Твоя любовь возвращала в детство, дарила все, чего не хватало. All right, so this is the first part, and now let's uh, look at the difference at the different grammar rules. Uh, first, I'll explain uh, rule by rule, and after we are going to look again at line after line. So the first rule is. If you want to make a plural form of any word, you have to add E at the end. So, ручка, ручки. In this song, we have звуки. So, one is звук, many звуки. One is рука, many руки. This is the first rule. If you want to say something in plural, just add E at the end. The next rule is going to be connected with the past tense. This song is in the past tense because every verb ends on L. Let's have a look. Издавала, подавала, прижимала, отпускала, возвращала, хватала. Every verb is ending on LA because this is the past tense and this is the rule. If you say something in the past, you have to take infinitive and just add LA if you are a female uh, and add just L if you are male. In this song, we have a subject любовь, любовь, it is love and this is female word. It is female gender. That's why we have to use la. Next rule. How can we say yours or mine? Depending on what we're talking about. In this song, we talk about любовь. Любовь, it's a female word. That's why to say yours, we say твоя. твоя. If it would be a male word, if we would talk about laptop, it would be masculine, and then we would say твой, твой. But in this case, we talk about любовь, female, that's why we say твоя, твоя. Моя, твоя. Мой, твой. Next rule, it's about genitive, or the situation when we need to use of, like in English, if we say a car of my dad, a leg of the chair. So whenever we have such connection between the words in Russian we use genitive. In this song we have шум океана, noise of the ocean, because uh, this is genitive, 
and Akian it is a masculine word because all the masculine words don't end on a and all the feminine words they end on a so Akian it's masculine word and we're supposed to know the rule that in genitive masculine we have to add a that's why it is shum Akiana. another rule here this one Prijamala k sertsu. So why do we say sertsu here, not serce? Because uh, this is actually a simple rule. This is dative, and it's very easy to recognize it. After this preposition k, we always have dative, always. So if you know dative endings, or you can look at the table if you have it, so you can see that serce uh this is a very weird ending not very typical so it is neutral normally we have uh, female or male words but this is neutral neutral works just like male words exactly the same rules that's why if we know the endings of masculine dative we know it is u and we say ksertsu now let's uh, listen this part one more time and after we'll look again line after line Твоя любовь издавала звуки похожие на шум океана Твоя любовь подавала руки чтобы залечивать ими раны Твоя любовь прижимала к сердцу так тихо-тихо и не отпускала Твоя любовь возвращала в детство дарила все, чего не хватало so let's look at the first line. Твоя любовь издавала звуки, похожие на шум океана. Твоя любовь издавала звуки, похожие на шум океана. Похоже на... Uh, it's, it goes together. Похоже на... That, that's why we have to say it. Твоя любовь подавала руки чтобы залечивать ими раны. This is the example of instrumental case, ими, uh, because we want to say to treat wounds by them. Whenever we, we want to say by, by him, by her, this is instrumental case. And the pronoun in instrumental case it's ими, in plural. Твоя любовь прижимала к сердцу, так тихо-тихо и не отпускала. Твоя любовь возвращала в детство, дарила все, чего не хватало. I hope now you understand the grammar structure of the sentences and why we have to use particular endings. At least, even if you don't know the endings of the cases, at least you can make the connections and understand why we had to change it here. And now the second part of the song. Твоя любовь это так красиво, твоя любовь этих тактов сила, твоя любовь лишь мое светила, твоя любовь это так красиво, твоя любовь это так красиво, твоя любовь этих тактов сила. Твоя любовь меня доводила, но твоя любовь это так красиво. Твоя... Alright, so let's look at the grammar structure in this part. Now that I already explained you all the main grammar rules, let's look at the first line. Твоя любовь это так красиво. Твоя любовь этих тактов сила. Тактов сила, this is a situation of genitive. Power of Tacts. I'm not sure what is it in English, like the distance between the sounds, like beats, uh, power of the beats. More correctly would be say sila taktov, but uh, he said it taktov sila, he just changed it, but it's supposed to be sila taktov. And this is your regular rule of using genitive in plural. We have to add of as the ending. Твоя любовь лишь мое светила. Твоя любовь это так красиво. Why do we say мое, not моя or мой? We have to look at the next word. Светило. It is 
ends on O, which means that this is neutral. Because it's neutral, we have to say моё. Моё светило. Твоя любовь – это так красиво. Твоя любовь – этих тактов сила. It's all the same. Твоя любовь меня доводила. Но твоя любовь – это так красиво. Here we have uh, made me furious. And because it is me, made me, this is genitive. So here we have to say меня. It's like меня зовут Аня. Uh, it means actually they call me Аня. Uh, меня зовут Аня means they call me Аня or me uh, called Аня, something like that. So here we also say меня доводила. Но твоя любовь это так красиво. Okay, let's listen both parts and you can try to sing them with me or just pronounce them without worrying anymore why there are so many changes in the world. And don't worry, by practice you will be able to use Russian grammar correctly, but for now, if you just understand the logic, the structure of it, it's already more than enough. Твоя любовь издавала звуки, похожие на шум океана. Твоя любовь подавала руки, чтобы залечивать ими раны. Твоя любовь прижимала к сердцу, так тихо-тихо и не отпускала. Твоя любовь возвращала в детство, дарила все, чего не хватало. Твоя любовь это так красиво. Твоя любовь этих тактов сила, Твоя любовь лишь моя светила, Твоя любовь это так красиво, Твоя любовь это так красиво, Твоя любовь этих тактов сила, Твоя любовь меня доводила, но Твоя любовь это так красиво. This is it. I hope you learned some grammar today. If you know some Russian songs that you really like, you can send me the name of the song in a comment and I'll be happy to make a video around it. Also, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'm really excited to walk this learning path of Russian with you. Пока, пока! Mm-hmm.